best bit for a Monday, first Monday of 2016? Well, I've learned something already this year. What's that? How to say celeriac. 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 Because they had a very posh accent, not celeriac, which is what I was saying to begin with. Celeriac. And now you know how to cook it. And now I know how to cook it. Now I know how to eat it. Delicious fish pie. What a fish pie. What? Really good. Honestly, really, really good. And I liked the cupcakes. Good. With nothing but goodness in. Yes, they put she snuck chia seeds in. What's your beef with chia seeds? What have they ever done to you? Well, we had them on the show earlier on, well, last year, and they were f disgusting, slimy, horrible things. And like a two-year-old, they were snuck into a cake today and I ate them without knowing what they were. You see, good for see? you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First world problem. Happy New Year. And here you go. Um, so you popped okay. a little bit of cheese on there as well. So, yeah, not everyone can have dairy, but some people find a little bit of Parmesan cheese they're fine with. I added it on top of the celeric to give it a little Is cutting nice out dairy going to be kind of the fashionable thing to do? Because Chloe Kardashian's cut out dairy. Oh, right. Everybody seems to be talking about cutting out dairy. Well, I try to avoid fashionable things and fads. I think, you know, we're, we're all unique and some people find that they do better avoiding some food groups. But mm. for me, it's always about doing it sensibly. You know, it's, it's not about what you're cutting out, it's what you're eating. What That's you're so lovely. And the, and the little zing of lemon is gorgeous. Yeah, it really helps. I wouldn't expect to see a, a dish of well cupcakes. I know. I hope you're going to tackle it. I in. am. Of course I am. Um, I think mm -hmm. so many people try to embark on deprivation um, for January and it's really unrealistic. Oh, wow. We know that we're going to have a little bit of sugar. We know that we're able to enjoy some nice like things. So instead of oh, buying the... Good. You do it. Smaller bit than you gave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of buying the pre-bought things, I think it's better if you can just get in your kitchens and make some healthy versions. So what's versions. in that then? That's not... Well, Philip, this is especially for you because I know what a fan of the chia seed you are. Mm. <laughs> this che is, is that chia that's seed? That's chia seed. Aha, you liked it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you snuck it in. <laughs> I snuck it in. Mm. So these are some... Um, it's grain free, gluten free, dairy free, sugar free um, cupcakes and I've used chia seeds and fresh berries to make the but sweetness not taste the free. And that's but not taste free, and that's the point. So it is possible Lovely. to enjoy a few treats. Best bit for a Tuesday. We're very lucky because, um, surprise, surprise, you get to give people amazing I do. things I do, and I do. reunite people. And then, you know, I've, on the cube, I can give away fifty thousand pounds. But what was what was one of the best ones today was to actually phone someone up and break yeah. the news. Yeah, it was Jane Jarvis. We called her this morning just before we came on air. We were so nervous because we hadn't. It wasn't planned. Nobody. She didn't know about it. We had the number. We hoped it was the right number. It was the right number. She eventually picked up the phone after keeping us waiting, and she was completely shocked. Had to sit down. When she found out, she won £200,000. And what's more, her husband was in the shower and so she ran upstairs with a mobile phone, knocked on the door, broke the news to him and you could hear the water pouring in the background. <laughs> yeah, what a shocking so shower that was. So Just brilliant. Stunning. Definitely our favourite moment. Hello, is, uh, is that Jane Jarvis? It is. Hello, Jane. Um, this is Philip Schofield speaking here. I'm with Holly Willoughby. Hello, Jane. Nice to speak to you today. Nice to speak to you. Hello. Um, uh, d can I just confirm that you entered our Jingle Jackpot competition? Yes, um, yes, we did, yes. Do you remember what the jackpot was, Jane? I can't... I honestly can't remember. It I was don't know whether it was money or cars or it was money. I, I cannot remember, to be honest. Uh, it was actually £200,000, Jane, for the person who actually won the competition. Oh, crumbs, Yeah, right? I know, I know. Crumbs! Do you, do you know what, I'm Jane? Just... What? You've won it. You're joking. No, Jane, it's all yours. Congratulations. I'm sitting down here. Um, <laughs> I've got to sit down. I can't believe it. <laughs> Jane, that is a huge amount of money. That's going to make a big difference. What are you going to do with it? I've got no idea. I'm sorry. Um, gosh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm in absolute shock here. Jane, you... Um, are you on your own? Well, my husband's having the shower at the moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. I'm sorry. I'm just in shock here. Well, well it's, wow. a, it's a lovely feeling. When you picked up the phone, I, I, it's probably the last thing you expected was the fact that when you put it down, you'd be £200,000 better off. Well, to be honest with you, my, yeah, obviously my mobile went and I thought, who's that calling? You know, I'm, I'm just ready for a cold call saying, no, I don't enter, I don't answer surveys, no, I don't do this. And I'm thinking, I thought it was a wind-up, I'll be honest with you. Are you on your mobile now? I am indeed, yes. How far is the bathroom from where you are? Um, hang on a second, I'm 
I'm, I'm going to take you up. I'm, I'm glad this has not got Skype or so anything. So have I. I mean, we're all pleased about that. <laughs> I don't think you're ready. No, we didn't FaceTime. I know. Can you imagine? <laughs> Just a second, please. I love this. She's knocking. You're not going to believe this. What? I've got Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby on the phone. Okay. And we've won £200,000. You're joking. <laughs> Can you hear that above the water? You're yeah. joking. <laughs> Taking <laughs> out from around the curtain. <laughs> oh dear me! I don't think he can get dry, uh, come out quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him not to slip. Be yeah, careful! Be don't careful. slip. Be careful. Well, best fit for today. Uh, it has to be Johnny Vegas. We love Benny Dorn returns. Yep, yeah, and he's returning to it as Bit the of... Oracle. Sibling bickering going on during that, um, and obviously one thing that all everybody that comes in who's, who's appeared in Benidorm always talks about the fans mm. that go with it. That they all head down, they all stay in the hotel. They're part of the filming, really. They're all there. Try to get in the shots, try swimming up the pool to, before the security stop them, all that sort of thing, uh, which is lovely. And also when they're outside filming, he said that there's a there's a like a hedge mm -hmm. type of thing which is uh, in between where they film and the road. Yes, and uh, and people shout through the hedge, and yeah. uh, and he said, okay. they, yeah, they call it the singing bush. <laughs> yeah. Nice. We have a bush at the back and it's on a, it's on a road and when people realise that we're filming, you know what I mean? You could be in the middle of quite an emotional scene and all you get is, hey monkey! Oh <laughs> from no. Through the, oh oh no. Hey Oracle! We call it the singing bush. So <laughs> <laughs> we get that and there are some people sort of creeping into shot. You know, you get the, the Jaws music. If they get past the security, they'll, they'll do a lap. And then and get out. And then go There's, um, so going, going for a wee is a nightmare. In the nicest sense, only because you've got you've got yeah, to get in through the, the crowd. You can't nip anywhere in Benidorm. You run the you I mean, it's all from a good place. It's lovely. They're, you know, they're thrilled to see you. Mm. But it is, it, it, it's it, you. You get to know what it must be like to be an A-lister mm. for um, the time that you're out there. Best bit for Thursday. Now I'm going to hold my hands up here and say when we were talking about having a periscope live to Philip's dressing room with a dripping tap. Uh, off the back of the puddle in Newcastle that was the most watched, periscoped thing, whatever. Most tweeted thing. about, second That's most tweeted one. about thing yesterday in the world. So we did our own one of a dripping tap and I was like, I'm not sure who's going to watch a dripping tap. I don't think it's the same. It's not going to work. I'm not sure we should do it. You do it. It's your thing. And um, what happens? We got a song. <laughs> Great, great comments. Very funny. Um, people, uh, are quite obviously, because there's been such a lack of water in the country yeah. at the moment, said uh, you're wasting water. Put the plug in, yes. which we did. Um, and uh, and then Jay wrote us a song. Brilliant. Definitely best bit. You are uh, not going to believe it, but it's inspired one viewer to write a song. This is Jay Stansfield's <laughs> tap song. I'm watching the. Dream. I should be looking after my baby I'm watching the dripping tap I should be looking after my baby 22 <laughs> seconds I counted between the drips Not that long ago I'm looking after my baby And I'm not watching the dripping tap anymore Yeah! Oh, oh, I love so the fact they looked at each other The so perfect cute. time when it comes to our best bit on the show today, I think it's got to be Davina because Davina is basically not just a TV presenter, not just a mum, not just, you know, she's an author. An she's an extraordinary human being. She is. She, she is. We she could is actually super. do a whole two hours of this morning just with Davina. We could have. We could she's have. got her, her new cookery book out, you know, it's sugar free and eating smart. She looks amazing. DVD. Fitness TV DVD. Program. That's why she looks amazing. Yeah. She's doing an incredible the, new series for ITV jump as being well. extreme. Yeah, so look, anyway. The jump. This is what we talked to her about. Hope you enjoy. You are an amazing person and you are an amazing woman as well. And all the years that I've known you, you've never been, I've never noticed you stick thin, but I've always noticed you incredibly, you, you're just, you're all woman. You're amazing. I mean, if you didn't do all of these things, would you be a right porker? Yeah. <laughs> would you? I probably would. Well, do you know what I think? Um, I like feeling good about myself. And, um, and I think that we all need a reason to stick at it. So, I, I don't feel a responsibility, but I, 
I know that people are now looking to me and saying, you know, what should I do to do this? So I sort of think, I, I want to look after myself because I want to be able to continue telling people yes. and showing people a kind of healthier way of living. I think that's the other thing with you is that you've done it, you know, we've seen this year on year on year now with you. It, mm. It's not a quick fix. Well, it's I live like I lost it. four stone in no. six months. And I do also fluctuate. You know, I do yeah. sometimes put on a bit of weight and then I kind of try and lose it again. I, I, I struggle with my weight, like, just like What are you struggling else. with there on that, what, that paddle? Oh, What's look that? how fantastic oh. you look. Matthew took that picture, I was like, darling, that's a good one, it's going on Insta. <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs>